Hello guys and welcome to Daily Updates on a Sunday morning. Headlines making rounds today is that of Tony Ngeni challenging Chief Justice Raymond Zondo and also ANC denying the Hillary Gadi murder accused. Now to start with the Tony Ngeni story, um, Tony Ngeni issued a statement saying that when a Chief Justice says a candidate for the presidency of the ruling party saved the country from more damage, that political comment carries significant political weight with voting delegate, says Tony Ngeni. Now, Tony Ngeni is challenging the report of uh, Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. He was not a Chief Justice by that time, but just a deputy. Where in his report to Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of the country, he includes comments about Ramaphosa intervention in this state capture, saving the country from more damage. And now Tony Ngeni says this is a political statement. This man is campaigning for President Cyril Ramaphosa. And there are many mixed views on this because some people are saying that, well, a convicted criminal trying to justify uh, his conscience by coming and saying that Chief Justice Raymond Zondo is trying to become a politician when he knows that, well, for sure, his history is not good as well. And some people are coming and saying, well, you need to take a chill pill, Mr. Tony Ngeni, because that has nothing to do with politics. But what we do know is that Justice Raymond Zondo is not new to these allegations of being involved in politics. We saw what happened when he was interviewed by Julius Malema and his answers. So what we can say about this is just let's keep a, a big eye on Mr. Raymond Zondo because as a chief justice, he will need to be careful about his utterances, especially in the upcoming political fight between all these parties. So whatever you say, Mr. Zondo, you must just be careful not to anger most of these people, uh, including Tony Yengeni. Now, we move from that to the one of ANC deciding to just boot out one of the accused in Hilary Gadi murder case. The statement says Mpumalanga withdraws Hilary Gadi murder accused Philemon Lukele's membership. The ANC says that its probe shows that Lukele obtained his membership ir irregularly. The party says Lukele is not a South African citizen and cannot hold a membership. Now we might want to repeat the last one. The party says Lukele is not a South African citizen and cannot hold membership. Oh my God. It never ends. It keeps raining in the ANC. So many years, this guy has been with them and even works in the... Uh, office of the chief whip in Pumalanga legislature. And then today they come and say, no, this guy obtained this membership irregularly and he's not even South African. Then the question is, all of this time, where were you? Where was this investigation? Was there no one who could say, oh, I suspect this guy is not even part of us. But now that he's in trouble, he's in jail, they are going to come with stories of uh, he's actually not South African and we took his membership. This is the guy. A patriotic person in the ANC structure. You can see even he, he's glowing because he has that Vaseline. That uh, corruption Vaseline is glowing. That's how they picked them. Here's the guest house that he, he owned. All, all this time, they didn't even know this guy was not South African. Man, come on. ANC must stop making us fools. So there was this tweet by one of uh, the people on Twitter who said, uh, this Lukele guy was a member of ANC Youth League, SASCO and SRC president in 2000, two, 2003 at Vets. Fly 2 was a member of SASCO SASCO and AN, ANC Youth League. Both of them were in the ESCO. To say he obtained ANC membership fraudulently is cuck. He has been a member of the ANC for more than 20 years. Yeah.
They can have you being a member for 20 years. But as soon as you do something wrong, all those fathers will come out. I mean, they say, if you are in the ANC, the right thing to do is just be corrupt. The rest of them will be in the cold weather. The ANC revealed that following an internal investigation, it found that Philemon Lukele's membership was obtained illegally. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why they would come with this thing instead of just saying because of him being arrested, we are withdrawing his membership. They should have just done that. Spokesperson Gelosin Jovu said, following the arrest of Mr. Philemon Lukele and his subsequent charging for kidnapping, rape, possession of an illegal firearm, defeating the end, ends of justice and the murder of Ms. Hilary Kadi, the ANC Provincial Working Committee has taken a decision to immediately withdraw his membership. They should have ended here. Don't tell us about this guy is not even South African. When you have been hiring him in many of these structures of ANC and suddenly you want to come and say, no, he's actually not one of us. To conclude, they say it has also emerged that Lukele was a member of the Eswatini Opposition Party, the People United Democratic Movement. Or they knew all along. They definitely knew all along and they had to squeeze him in. They were probably gaining something from him. Now suddenly this man is no longer part of the ANC. They withdraw in that membership. Now suddenly they are saying that actually he's not a South African. Now any ANC you have let us down in the past. But it seems like you bring shame to your name each and every time. What more can we say about ANC? Besides saying corruption, what more can we say? Incompetence? This is not one of them. This is just trying to hide their image. They are saving their image. Hopefully this guy, if he, he was part of these allegations of kidnapping, possessions of firearms and killing Hilary Gadi, he should rot in jail. And it says a lot about the movement itself because this is not the first person. There have been, been many people we have been doing bad things in the ANC and as soon as those things come to light, the party runs away. But when the cake was nice, when they were eating, when they were wearing the blazers, the ANC blazers, when they were shining of Vaseline, when they were enjoying life, they were called patriotic ANC members. But do something wrong beside being corrupt. Hey, they want to kick you in the snow and you will never come back. Anyway, guys, these are the headlines of today. We're looking to see how people react as the day goes to our very own Justice Raymond Zondo and Tony Engeni because now Tony Engeni says, I'll deal with you. Because you seem like a politician and you are endangering the ANC campaign for uh, presidentship. As you can see, mo many people don't want uh, President Ramaphosa in the ANC. They don't want him to take the second term. And they will do anything to make sure that that man doesn't get it. I mean, as a South African, we know that whether he's the next president of uh, he's taking another term or they choose another person... The fact remains, ANC doesn't have a clue. They don't have a plan B. Their plan B died in 1999 when Nelson Mandela said, I can't do it anymore. That, that was when their plan B died. For now, it's just a goose chase. Anyway, guys, and thank you for tuning in to the videos. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until next time. Cheers.